What up? It's Evan God of the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, without this one thing, your commitment is worthless. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ah, day four of immersion. Ooh, I love it. Immersion is this intense event. You can check that out at manwealth.com or shieldmaidenlive.com. We have one for the women, one for the men. And look, through immersion, I'll give you a little bit of insight of this. It is hard. We challenge men and women. Right for the, this week, we have men here. We challenge them physically. A man or a human being does not know how strong he or she is until they're pushed to the brink of exhaustion and then embrace that pain. You just don't know. And so we've, we've done the, our long rucks and holy hill. We've done the sand, the beach, the bags. We've done the grinder. We've done all these different evolutions on the physical front. And that's just one front. Then we got the, the spiritual front. And then we've got the relationship front, family and marriage. And then, of course, we have the financial front, which is, hey, money, business, career, you know, supporting yourself, creating a living. You know, <clears throat> we were doing the, what are the evolutions? And evolution is a term we use for, like, one of the workouts or the experiences. And, you know, someone says, I'm committed. I'm committed. But in reality... Without this one thing, your commitment's worthless. A lot of people talk about being committed and devoted and dedicated and all in and whatever it takes. But the problem with that is without this one thing, whatever it takes and, you know, um, the commitment and the, the excitement and all that stuff is worthless. And I want to share with you what that stuff, that one thing is. Now, one thing is simply this, capacity. Without capacity or competency, we'll use the word capacity. Without capacity, your commitment is worthless. Why do I say that? Well, you take a person who can say, let's say, run 100 miles. And they're like, oh, I'm going to run 100 miles. And, you know, if I gave you a check for a million dollars today, if you could go run 100 miles a lot of people are like, for a million dollars? Okay. And then they'd go try to run 100 miles, and if they haven't run ever, they're not making it five miles. Like, it ain't happening. Why? They could be super committed. They could be super driven and motivated. Their families' lives could be on the line. But without capacity to do the work, without competency to do the work, they fail. A capacity is the ability to do what's required. Again, do you have capacity to run 100 miles? Right now, I don't. However, if you are committed, your commitment will drive you to go build your capacity and your competency. I saw this early on in our business. In the beginning, I did not have the capacity to market like I do today. In fact, I was afraid. I was afraid of making phone calls. I was afraid of reaching out to people that I knew. What would they think that I'm trying to sell them something? What if I infringe on them? Oh my goodness, I don't want to do that. And so I just lacked the capacity. Another word for capacity might be the skills, the strength, the mental fortitude. And the only way to develop capacity is to embrace the threshold of pain and push beyond the pain. Again, an example of this, I remember running from a half marathon earlier this year. I was training for it. I'd never run more than five miles. And I remember I was supposed to go run six miles. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no way. And I did it slowly. And then I remember running seven miles. And I remember I ran eight and then 10 and then 12 and then 13. And then ultimately the half marathon. This was significant because in the beginning, we sometimes think, I need to have this figured out. I need, I need to do it now. I got to go make my billion dollars now. And that's not true. One of the best things we can do is build capacity. So in the physical domain, right, the big four, to build your capacity of weightlifting or running or yoga or the Peloton, you do the activity and then you begin to approach the threshold of pain. That's where you get tired. Like you, you tap out at your capacity. 
It is in that moment you've got to push beyond. You've got to push beyond. It's the only way it works. In the spiritual domain, some of us don't have capacity. There was a time in my life where I did not have the capacity to really be in and or around spiritual conversations. It was foreign. It just didn't make sense. People talk about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> so how do you build your capacity? You do the required work and you grow, right? You sit in there and you develop muscles. You develop stamina. You develop endurance. In relationships as a parent, as a spouse, it's the same thing. Our pride gets in the way so often that we want to be right. And when we want to be right, we're willing to make others wrong. And when we make others wrong and they want to be right, we argue. Contention comes in. That's not a good way to live. So how do you develop capacity inside of relationships? Well, you got to be clear about what it is that you want. Satema wants to have an amazing marriage, amazing family. Amazing looks like my kids hug and kiss me. I kiss and hug my wife. We talk openly. We talk honestly. We talk about gospel, about work, about money. We talk about all the different things that would help our sons be successful and happy. So building capacity inside of a home, building capacity inside of a relationship, building the capacity to be a leader. And of course, in the business world, right? do you have the capacity to market, to sell, to lead? A lot of people today, they don't have that capacity. Why? They haven't developed it. They're soft. They're weak. I'm not saying millennials are soft. I'm not saying anyone in particular is soft. I'm just saying if you don't have the mental toughness and the mental fortitude to learn and practice specific types of behavior, sales, marketing, leadership, delegation, speaking, if you don't have that tenacity to develop capacity, you'll never get anywhere. So if you take a look at your life right now, my friends, do you have capacity? Your commitment is 100% tied to capacity. If your commitment is like at an all-time high to go make more money to make an extra $50,000 a month or $50,000 a year, whatever that amount is, and your capacity is really low, well, your commitment matches the capacity. So if you want your commitment to be able to really do the work, then you've got to increase your capacity. You've got to practice. You've got to put in the time. That's how it goes, my friends. So, will you build your capacity? Capacity. Will you build it today? Will you do it every single day? Will you embrace the pain? I love what I do for work. I love having this commitment, this stance that allows me to be powerful, to be certain, and to do the work. Have a great day, everybody. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.